Hey girls, how you doing? Let's do another pick a card and today is going to be quite triggering, so stay cool. It's a question that many people ask me, are they coming back? Oh boy, so let's stay very cool, okay? That could be really, really triggering. So let's have a look and stay really in a nice, peaceful place. <laughs> Whatever works for you, you know? Uh, okay, stay cool. One, two, one, two. Pound number one, are they coming back? The Hermit, Nine of Pentacles, Five of Cups. Very straightforward here, very straightforward. So yeah, there was a period of no communication. You may have been both feeling like, oh, I need to be in my cave for a while, I need to switch off, or having no com communication. Um, and it was necessary because when you're a Hermit, you, you feel the need to be on your own and to rethink the situation. Definitely, there is a need, um, you know, of an in, um, introspection. And when you come out of that cave, you really go gently. You know, with a little lantern, you cannot go um, very far because you can't see very far. So you go piano, piano, one step at a time. There is regret here, definitely. So, you know, they look back on what could have been or what it was between you two and then realize, my goodness, everything went down. Yet again, we have two cups still standing. So there is a desire to reconcile or at least to recommunicate with you. Absolutely. So for me, they're coming back because they feel that regret is very heavy on their heart. And you probably both feel the same. Uh, you receive the fruit of your labor. So for me, it's a very clear yes, they're coming back. Uh, there's an idea of you... Um, being working on yourself, maybe focusing on your money uh, in the meantime while they were in the cave and also keeping an eye um, on, you know, what was it about you that maybe um, managed that kind of relationship. Uh, you also kept an open heart, you're trying to take the best out of the experience and trying to move forward and you're trying to to do the best out of, you know, a very tricky situation. I think you kept yourself busy, maybe, you know, exactly making money, but also socializing, having a life of your own, and maybe reconnecting with your own truth. As a result, you're much more in balance with yourself, and you have more of a chance to attract someone in the same mindset, right? Balanced, beautiful. So let's have a couple of more cards um, to see. Yeah, you're covering your heart though, because, yeah, you know, when you've been through such a period of time that was triggering, it was difficult, you kind of go again very piano piano. I think you're both feeling in that energy of like, we got burned here. So um, we want to be, you know, just gentle now. And it's okay, you know, take your time, there's no rush. Love doesn't have to be rushed anyway. Boom, bada boom. There is a very uh, powerful energy between you two, the 1111 twin flame. Don't like labels too much, but I have to say this is a very strong card. Um, so your connection is one of the most challenging. So do not expect something straightforward. It's not going to be Magnolia. Uh, you might have quite a bit of back and forth, like, oh yeah, going back to my cave again and then come back again and then whatever um but it's a kind of a story you're going for here is uh, the most challenging the more um as well endearing story because it's really the inner child within and that is something that you do not find anywhere else you have a twin you don't have triplet it's only you and that person so yeah you might try to go somewhere else but i don't think that will be resonating the same way so it is worth your time definitely beautiful so let's have a measure of kenna is a powerful reading already so they're coming back let's have a look the fool yes they're taking that leap of faith in you as well you both know it's worth it you both know that it's not a kind of relationship you ever experience in your life so that's probably why you're both resisting it why is it so complicated i've never been in a relationship like that because it's a twin so it's never uh, been experienced before anyway so it's new you're taking that leap of faith you kind of almost surrender what the point of trying to fight against this connection this is a connection of lifetime so i may as well get on with it and learn from it beautiful so i love this reading very nice very powerful indeed so they're definitely coming back so pound number two are they coming back strengths nine of wands the devils hmm. well 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 um i don't think they're coming back now uh, for me, <coughs> excuse me, George is here, um, it's a very powerful
powerful connection and that also is meant to make you stronger than ever. But does it mean that you have to remain in this energy? I'm not quite sure. Because it's been ongoing, it's been a, a battle, it's been hurdle, it's been very feisty, fiery, a lot of arguments, it's been, oh my god, and you're on a nine of the of ones, excuse me. So very soon you're going to get to the ten of ones, so you're going to have to drop a heavy weight that you cannot carry anymore. I think this connection, it's more about codependency than anything. So yes, you can come back and forth, but I think you're almost kind of done with the karma debt because it's very toxic. It's an attachment and you know, <coughs> excuse me, George is really here. Um, uh, you know, you feel like this is not positive. This is dragging me down. It's an obsession, maybe sexually really, really intense. But is he really what I want in my life? Does he bring me um, balance, equilibrium, serenity? Not at all. Not at all. So you can go back and forth. Yes, they might come back, but they might go again and back again. And it's all very dramatic. Do we want this? You're almost, almost at the end of the road with this. And after the 10 of uh, ones, you will have the ace of ones when you make a decision. Uh, for me... You have to push a little bit further down that line and then you're going to give up because it's like this is not going anywhere. It's not giving up, like, oh my God, I'm crying. No, you're kind of like, no. I take the lesson, I become stronger than ever and get out of it. It takes a lot to get out of the codependency. It takes a lot because it's one being narcissist, the other one low self-esteem. So of course you're hooked in some ways. So you have to go back to uh, your own self. Why do I have this pattern of feeling like uh, I'm not good enough and therefore I'm going back to the narcissist who doesn't give me anything. It's someone who takes everything out of me, sucking out my energy, lack of empire and not giving me anything. So you have to you know, acknowledge all of that and come out of it. That is strong. That is very strong. Um, but you, when, when you manage to do this, you can actually <laughs> be with a lion. It's absolutely fine. It's your normal thing, right? <laughs> but that's true. This kind of relationship is difficult to come out from. But you can, definitely, yeah. You're taking that decision. For me, um, yes, it might come back, but it will be like maybe one more time and then that's it. Because you know what? I'm sick and tired of this. It doesn't bring me anything. I want to go to the next chapter in my life. I want to go out there, see the world. I don't want to be in a cage. I don't want to be, um, you know, um, it's very limited um, uh, when it comes to your belief system if you stay in, in a codependency situation. So now you open your mind. You know there is something else. There must be somewhere else something else and you're manifesting definitely but you cannot maintain the illusion of a codependency a codependency is an illusion because nobody is hooked to anyone is in your mind so why are you recreating the same pattern where that come from did you have that kind of similarity in your childhood and then you understand oh god this is exactly what i'm repeating i mean i put it in a very uh you know basic way but it's a process behind it right Mm -hmm. Yeah, that person is not able to open their heart. No, they're on the fence. They have a lot of love, absolutely, but I think it's probably as well a bit of too much self-love. Um, but they're going to stay on the fence. So you know you're not going anywhere with this. It's going to go like again and again and again. So yeah, there you go. Ace of sword. You gain that clarity. But that means that you had to go through a ten of sword before. That's a lot of pain. But you get to a point of no return. Like a ten of wands, the ten of swords. At some point, that's it. Enough is enough. I'm out of here. And when you're out of here, let me tell you, you definitely are. Well done you. It takes a lot of strength to do this. But be codependent is never good news. So realize it, you know. And then do something about it if you can, right? So maybe the first attempt might not work. Um, but carry on, okay? Because you deserve to have healthy relationship. Death, yes, it's the end of something, beginning of something else. For me, uh, they're coming back probably, but that back and forth is exhausting you and you know it's the end. And it's, um, it's something that has to go. It's not healthy, it's definitely extremely toxic 
and you know the situation the scenario you've, you've went through a hundred times this is not good for you and you know it so yeah i think they're coming back probably a few times but maybe that's the last time they're coming back and you move on the decision is yours you know because it can come and you know suck your energy out for your full life obviously but if you change your mentality you change your way of thinking about yourself then they won't be able to take anything out of you any longer and they will have to find someone else that they can be codependent with okay interesting so on this note have a beautiful day and i see you tomorrow Mwah. ciao